Okay, you're watching a live high-speed pursuit here on News Chopper 4 Alpha. This is uh, originated out of Pomona. Cutting the programming, roger that. Let me put a standing by. Okay, let me get it for you guys. Okay, southbound on Avalon, southbound on Avalon. Yeah, bring it on whenever you guys need to. I'm always ready. Bring it. Cross traffic. Having to abruptly slow down. Here we go. We got a lot of traffic here. Cross traffic as he comes up on Florence Avenue. This is where it gets a little dicey. They get a little agitated here, not regard for that pedestrian right there. Uh, but again, they start making these evasive maneuvers, and that's why they put these dangerous pursuits in a tracking mode to prevent anything happening uh, as a result of this uh, driver who is driving quite erratically. Well, and that's what, uh, we, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, fishtailing here may have, uh, may, uh, because he was uh, traveling so fast here, may have just lost it, skidded a little. Uh, we did not see any pit maneuver. Kathy, uh, dispatchers are definitely working behind the scenes right now. They're trying to, uh, you know, this vehicle, see who it's registered to, see if whether this is the owner of the vehicle, was the vehicle stolen. Uh, they're trying to find out the nature of the relationship of these two people. And so a lot of that is happening in the background. Those dispatchers are providing that vital information to law enforcement, LAPD right now, the primary so they'll be getting that information so it's a little better idea look at that car having to back up having to back up there because of this vehicle as he's going eastbound just crossing over san pedro so vehicle still driving really erratically i'm surprised lapd pulling into a lot here this may be coming to an end here pulling into the parking lot of the l supermarket here which makes it even more dangerous look at all these people right here boom right next to that car sidewalk yeah look at that well look at that woman with her child right there that woman with her child had to move out of the way that vehicle went up onto the sidewalk so this pursuit is getting quite dangerous officers and watch commander uh, handling this they're gonna want to stop this pursuit here as soon as they can because now it's starting to get extremely dangerous They are the ones following this pursuit, and you can see this vehicle still traveling at a high rate of speed at times. Oh, there he goes, spinning out. Look at that maneuver. Just stop that vehicle like, oh, look at that. That's why, a spike strip. I got to tell you, I've never seen that. That was quite uh, dramatic, shall I say. Slammed on his brakes to avoid a spike strip, made that uh, turn. It almost looked like a professional driver there doing that, uh, but unfortunately the circumstance is quite dangerous and we can only hope they can deploy a successful spike strip to bring this pursuit to a safe ending.
Definitely, because this pursuit is escalating, driving on the wrong side of the road, wrong side of the road right here, now making a turn here, pedestrian still having to jump out of the way. That's the problem, it's because it's getting dangerous, driving on the wrong side of the road, driving on the sidewalk, and that woman and her child had to jump out of the way by that Arco gas station. They want to bring this pursuit to an end. No pursuit is worth uh, life right now, and you can see how he passed that vehicle uh, on the wrong side of the road. So he's still traveling on the wrong side of the road, coming up on Avalon. We've been here before. You can see these spectators stopping in the middle and a lot of times Kathy they just want the attention looks like he may be taunting officers slowing down stuff in the bed of that pickup truck sliding all over the place this is just a dangerous pursuit here this go oh, oh that car almost made a left turn almost crashed there so fortunately no accident but Kathy this is getting to be very dangerous more now of a this guy's kind of showboating in this area which makes these dangerous pursuits even more dangerous There he goes, there he goes. Yeah, he was to made that quick evasive maneuver. Uh, this isn't good. If he continues northbound, Kathy, he's going the wrong way on the freeway. This, this, this is not good. Now going northbound on the 110 freeway in the southbound lanes. Look at this guy. This is dangerous. They got to stop this pursuit here. They got to get this guy stopped here. Going this speed here, oh, this, this is very, uh, this is this is very scary to watch here. One ten free. Yes, and we are approaching Florence Avenue. Look at that. He is in the right lane. He's in the right lane of that freeway. I'm kind of keeping a wide shot to see if we can see any traffic coming southbound right now. Then he goes over to the right shoulder. Vehicles traveling at a high rate of speed on the southbound side, and we've got this guy traveling north on the 110 freeway in the southbound lanes. Next major street, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be Florence Avenue. Hopefully he'll get off of the freeway, but it gets very dicey right here as he uses that on-ramp as a possible off-ramp here to get off the freeway. Right there, there's the accident. That's what we were waiting for. Unfortunately, that car, just person, that person just getting on the freeway, head-on collision, and he's not stopping. So this is, uh, this is really, uh, this is a very dangerous pursuit here, and, and this person definitely needs to be stopped. No regards for the safety of anybody. Again, exiting the freeway, using the on-ramp here, and that's Manchester Avenue right now. So that accident happened on the 110 freeway southbound right around Manchester. Yes, they're going to pull out everything they have as he comes up onto the sidewalk again right now. They are calling for paramedics for that person involved in the accident driving on the sidewalk right now. Looks like we may be coming up through another construction zone here. Uh, so uh, trying to make a turn here. He's having to wait for traffic, uh, but he's on Manchester right now making his way northbound here. We'll get you the street here, but going through yet another construction zone. Very dangerous pursuit. We've seen two accidents, one head-on collision on the 110 Harbor Freeway. As this vehicle is now traveling northbound on Main, uh, speeds are really starting to pick up here.
Yeah, and he also avoided a spike strip in a manner that I've never seen before. Slammed on the brakes, turned to the left, almost did a 180, pretty much did a 180 to avoid that spike strip. And here we go again. Maybe there was a spike strip down there. Not too sure, but he just flipped a Yui. Now he's going northbound on Main Street on the wrong side of the road, sometimes going head on toward those LAPD units. Look to the lower left of your, of your screen. You can see the speeds, uh, how fast this guy is going at times. And look at the stuff in the bed of that pickup truck. Just kind of shows you what a, a, a drive, uh, how aggressive his driving is. People running on the sidewalks. Now people get back to that L supermarket. So passing the L supermarket here on Florence Avenue, continuing eastbound Florence Avenue away from the 110 Harbor Freeway. Look at that, look how he just, you know, it's almost showboating right now as he slams on those brakes, makes these abrupt turns, uh, but those spike strips are designed to slowly deflate those tires, uh, which subsequently can bring a pursuit to a safe closure. Look at him slamming on the brakes right there. Spike strip, Cappy. There was a spike strip. He was able to successfully avoid that one. He saw that one coming. So now he's on Florence Avenue, eastbound Florence Avenue there from uh, that major street here. So, so, you know, this guy is just playing a cat and mouse game. And this is a dangerous pursuit. If you are in the area, stay inside. Don't become a part of this pursuit. It only becomes a situation here for LAPD officers. Right there. Look at that LAPD officer right there. Looks like he stopped abruptly to continue northbound as he's going now. Uh, we'll get you the street here in a second. Kathy, I just look at how fast he is traveling on surface streets right here, these residential neighborhoods. Uh, we've witnessed a couple of accidents, a head-on collision on the 110 Harbor Freeway cross traffic right there. So as he comes up on Main Street here, he's turning southbound on Main Street. Uh, this guy is just showboating right now, unfortunately, still escalating the situation. Uh, spike strips, I mean, see these people are filming, and he cuts through the lot with those LAPD officers, guns drawn. Uh, I don't, I don't think they would be shooting at him at that particular situation. Yeah, the vehicle making a safe left turn. Vehicle had the right of way, made a safe left turn from Gage and uh, essentially almost got into a head-on collision because this guy decided today he's gonna be in a very dangerous high-speed pursuit as he's going northbound on Broadway right now.
Yeah, they seem to do that sometimes during these pursuits. You'll see individuals, and you can see the front of that vehicle right now, some of that damage sustained from one of those mini collisions, especially that 110 uh, head-on collision. We are on uh, uh, Slauson Avenue, vehicle turning left onto Slauson. Oh, look at those tires. Yeah, Kathy, I'm sorry to cut you off, but yeah, uh, this, this car may be aware of that pursuit, and you can see him. He's trying to pass through this. Look at those tires just spinning and burning that rubber as he's trying to get past this area. The female passenger right now sitting in that vehicle here. Look at this. This is right here on Town Avenue north of Florence. Town Avenue. Yeah, it is, it is. Look at this, he's ramming that vehicle, going back and forth. Now he's gonna escalate this, pick up some more speed, slam into this car. This guy in the white pickup truck, he's not giving up. He's not giving up his spot right now. Makes it pretty dangerous here, passing him right now. It did give law enforcement time to get a little closer to this vehicle, but if anything, good. Look at his tire. This thing is gonna be over soon. So you know what? That's a good thing that happened. That thing is smoking. Anytime soon, this thing could catch on fire. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of smoke from that. Driver getting a little more agitated. Look at the body language of that driver. That's what law enforcement helicopter, that's what the LAPD helicopters were laying to the uh, officers down below. Body language is very important. And we also emphasize dispatchers. They are working feverishly behind the scenes, passing along vital information to law enforcement officers, the uh, officers who are the primary units maybe they have more information than we are aware of right now but again the relationship of this driver and the passenger if this vehicle was stolen was it taken into commission of a violent crime or anything of that nature these are answers law enforcement are getting from those dispatchers and look as he fishtails continuing northbound here approaching 69th street this should be ending soon because i don't see this vehicle lasting any longer Look at that, yeah. Yeah, and that tire becomes a, that tire becomes dangerous too. I mean, you've got a rolling tire down the street if there's pedestrians or anything. Here we go, 69th Street, the 100 block of 69th Street. Uh, he's kind of slowing it down. You can see how he's really trying to pick up this vehicle, but I think the Chevy truck is just saying, I got no more. I don't know how much longer we can last with this pursuit here going westbound on 69th, uh, 69th Street through this residential area. This would be a perfect time for officers to be able to get in front of this vehicle and uh, perhaps deploy another spike strip here as we come up on Main Street, turning southbound on Main.
right there. See that that rim came off that vehicle and hit a vi and and hit a car. So it came off that pickup truck and hit a car, but it could have just been easily a pedestrian. So it's still a dangerous situation, even though now we're going at a slow rate of speed. This vehicle is starting to break up a little with those rims flying away and those tires going down the roadway. Just crossing that. Oh my goodness, that was close. That's Gage Avenue there at Main Street. LAPD really close. Look at all these officers right now. Most likely one. Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to engage and try to uh, 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 do a uh, pit maneuver. I'm waiting to hear whether or not uh, the uh, watch commander is going to have them do that. But uh, really, Kathy, he's not going to be going anywhere. Uh, the vehicle slowed down, and that was the most important thing. Uh, they were able to uh, get this vehicle to slow down right now. We don't see those dangerous high rate of speed, so they just may be waiting for the exact precise moment uh, to intervene here. Yeah, look at that passenger. She's getting out. She's waving to people here. So again, it's just a classical situation where they go into some neighborhoods sometimes during a pursuit, whether they know this neighborhood or not. Uh, they start uh, cheering on the uh, uh, evading vehicle. And then the suspect and the passenger, they start cheering the other people as well. So it just becomes a spectacle in this neighborhood, makes it a little dangerous here. Just crossing over Florence Avenue, going southbound on Avalon on Florence Avenue. Look at that. On those rims there, that car is still going. This guy is not giving up. That Chevy truck, we keep telling you, is really taking a lick in here. It's still continuing there southbound on Avalon Boulevard as this suspect is just not wanting to give up. Yes, I don't want to say it. Good, I'm glad he said it. Here we go. It's stopping, Aldo. Hey, copy. Yeah, I'm surprised they ran out. I wanted to keep a wide shot because I didn't know what these individuals were going to do. We're going to stay with the driver. We're going to stay with the driver. Suspect is down right there.